Hello Duelists! Ross Mero here and welcome back to Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. Now we're at the second episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX uh, mode, the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX campaign I mean. And now we're moving on to the third stage, the Shadow Duelist. I can't exactly remember what this duel is about, but it looks like we'll be playing as Judai against Titan. Titan. Who is this guy again? Can't really remember. Oh well, we'll just duel as usual. Okay, what do we... Oh, we have Mirror Force! Not bad. And we also have the ingredients for Thunder Giant right off the bat, which is really nice. So it looks like he's going to be playing an Arc Fiend deck. Also known as the Demon deck in Japanese. Hmm. That is a lot of effect text. And wow! Wait, what? How did it just gain... During each standby phase, increase the attack of one ar- Ah, wow, that is quite a sick card. But we are just going to go straight into our... Fusion Monster. I activate the Magic Card Polymerization! And I fuse Elemental Hero, Sparkman, and Clayman from my hand. Heroes Unite! Fusion Summon! Elemental Hero, Thunder Giant to the left extra monster zone. Very nice. Okay, now let me take a good look at what this field spell is actually capable of. Okay, looks like it doesn't... It isn't really capable of doing anything massive. So I'll now discard my... Yep, Bubble Man to destroy Infernal Queen Arc Fiend. She's rolling the dice, and it's a 4. Wow, that was lucky. If it was a 2 or 5, the effect would have been negated and my Thunder Giant would have been destroyed. What kind of crazy card is that? Now going into the battle phase, I'll just attack him directly. Nice, end my turn. What's he gonna do next? DUDE! Oh right, but it becomes half, right? And then he Monster Reborns out the Queen as well. But they can't pop me, right? Okay, he's banished and special summoned from the deck. Terror King, 2.5k. Ah, I see. That's what he's going for. But fortunately, I have my Mirror Force set up, which I kind of have no choice but to activate at this point. Destroying his entire field. And things are going pretty well. Okay. Come on, give me a clay man. Huh? I guess it'll be good to set it in defense position. Battle, I'll just continue attacking with Thunder Giant again. End my turn, okay. So I might be able to win if he doesn't get, uh, right in the next turn if he doesn't get any more monsters. What's he gonna do? Set. Okay. I can't use lightning crash on a face down. But thankfully we've got Pot of Greed, gonna activate that. Draw two. And skyscraper, huh? Hmm. I'm actually gonna put a bet on this. Flip my claimants to attack position. And since I have Skyscraper... I'm quite confident that their attack is going to be higher than mine. Oh, it isn't! Wow! It's only got... Oh, it's less! Dang, alright, alright. I have to beat it like this, and then I'll direct attack with my other claimant. But at least now he's within reach of a single direct attack from my Thunder Giant. Let's get this duel on the road! Face down again. What am I gonna draw? Reinforcement. Okay, might as well do this. Gonna search for my Sparkman. Sparkman better be strong enough to pop his face down. I mean, he should be. Get my Sparkman down on the field. Attack with Static Shockwave! And there we go, that should be enough. And now I'll finish him off with a direct attack, Electro Fist! And there you have it, that's one duel down. Our reward for the sake of Cyrus, Shadow Duelist, Titan, Arc Fiend, Bastion, Misawa, Booster Pack, and some Arc Fiend cards, Life Absorbing Machine, Dark Bishop, Arc Fiend as our duel rewards. So continuing on, we're gonna play for the sake of Cyrus. Who are we playing as? Is that Zane? 
Hmm. Cool, we're actually playing as Zane. I'm actually gonna go with Paper for him. Since he's sort of like the Kai he's sort of like a Kaiba, since he combines his three Cyber Dragons into Cyber End Dragon. Pretty cool that we are gonna get to try out the Cyber deck though. And oh yes, it looks like it's actually updated Cybers. Yeah, this is pretty intense. Yup, and we can get Cyber Dragon out immediately. We even have Cyber Dragon Dry. This is super nice. Although I think some of these cards are actually for XC support. MST, huh? Okay, let's see what I have. Cyber Twin and Cyber N. Alright, that makes sense. I'm gonna use Fusion Sage. Chain another card or effect. Nope, not yet. I'm gonna get Polymerization to my hand. Nope. And I could Polymerize. What is Dry's effect first? Okay, I'm gonna start by normal summoning dry. Nope, don't need that effect activation. I'll set MST and I'll just use dry to attack first. And there goes Bubble Man. A oh, but he has a hero signal set up. And he's gonna add his clay man to the field. And I think that is all I'm gonna be doing at this point. Oh man, if he gets out Thunder Giant, that'll be a bit dangerous. Skyscraper? Okay, I'm going in. You know what? Not yet. I wanna beat him into it. He's bringing down Wing Kuribo. Wait, then his Skyscraper isn't even gonna work? Oh, he's going for a double destruction. Is he gonna attack? Come on. He's seriously attacking? Alright, now I'll activate my Mystical Space Typhoon Quick Play. And that will pop the Skyscraper. And his Clay Man will be destroyed for nothing. Okay. What am I gonna- Oh! Fusion Gate! That's nice. I'm just gonna activate my Fusion Gate. And now I'll normal summon my Proto Cyber Dragon. This should be enough, right? I activate Fusion Gate! And I'm gonna- Oh man! Right off the bat, so fast! I'm gonna fuse my Cyber Dragon from my hand with the Cyber Dragon Dry acting as Cyber Dragon on my field and the Cyber Proto Cyber Dragon acting as Cyber Dragon on my field. Combine the three mechanical dragons from cyberspace! And now, here comes the ultimate cyber dragon, cyber and dragon, fusion summon! To the left extra monster zone! Oh yeah! And now I attack. Oh man, I forgot what his, what's the name of his attack already, but never mind. I attack with cyber and stream! I mean, it, it's a dragon with three hits made out of three... Dragons with one hit each, you kind of have to add stream to its name. <laughs> and wow, it looks like we're ending this duel right off the bat. Man, Zane is epic. Okay, I'm literally not gonna do anything else. Attack, finish him off, Cyber and Dragon! Cyber and Stream! And there we go. We can go right into the next duel. Formula for success. Alright. Oh, we got Mudball Man, Fusion Sage, Burst in Atrix, those are our rewards. And now we are going to play as Bastion against Chaz. That's pretty nice. It's going to be fun to play as Bastion. Is this his H2O Dragon deck? Can't remember which deck exactly he uses at this stage of the game. Because, I mean, he just has so many different decks based on the different attributes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, it looks like we are playing H2O Dragons. We are playing H2O Dragons. And yes, this is the very first match with Chess, so he is actually playing a fire attribute deck. Yep. Okay. And cool, we've got Carbon Eden as well. And it's gonna be super effective against fire attribute monsters. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna start with Graceful Charity. Of course. Ah, that is nice. And I'm definitely going to discard Carbon Nedden as well as one of my 
Hydro Gaddens. And now I think I can... Okay, Carbon Eden has this effect where you can banish it from the graveyard to special summon from my hand or deck. A 1 level 7 or lower dragon type normal monster in face up defense position. But it looks like I actually don't have it. So it looks like the only one... Yeah, I don't have it. Oh, Dark Hole! And Fossil Dig. Ah, my the choices are so good! What do I want to drop? I need to drop two, right? Kavazals. I think I'll drop Furial, Bur Foolish Burial and Kavazals. Okay, mm. let's do that. You have discarded from your hand. Nope. And now, what should I do next? I'll use Fossil Day. What mm. options do I have? Mm. Hmm. Okay, I am definitely taking Duotarion. And now I'll activate Duotarion's effect from my hand in order to add a bonding H2O. Okay, let's see what I can do next. I'm actually gonna go for the MST on his mage power. Because I want to summon my Hydro Geddon. Set my Call of the Haunted. And de defeat his Bushfire Knight with Hydro Geddon. So by destroying a monster, okay. I get to activate Hydro Geddon's effect as well. So I'll, yep, get another Hydro Geddon from my deck. And his Bushfire Knight, what does he get to do? Yeah, drop a fire to his grave. Now end my turn right there. Man, this deck actually takes some thinking. <laughs> but it looks like we might actually be able to get a uh, H2O Dragon the next turn. Let's see what he does though. Call of the Haunter. Oh no, he's getting his... Yup. Infernal Incerner Incernerator. It's going to be very powerful. But fortunately, I have my Call of the Haunted at the ready. Okay. So that should be all. Okay. What was Water Dragon's effect exactly? Well, we'll find out in a while. Because I activate Call of the Haunted, it's hitch 2 all right? So I need to hitch. So first, one Hydro Garden onto my field, special summon. And now I normal summon my Oxygen, and now I have two hitch and one O on the field. I activate the magic card, bonding hitch 2 O, And by sacrificing two Hydro Garden's and one Oxygen from my field, I get the special summon of Water Dragon from my deck. And it looks like I only have one. Yup, the attack of Fire Monsters and Pyro Monsters on the field becomes zero. Nice. Alright. Special summon, come forth my Water Dragon! Oh, this is so cool. This is one of my favorite monsters from GX. And now his Infernal Incinerator's power is only zero. So we'll attack it with Water Tsunami! Okay, that wasn't a very cool sounding attack name, like Water Tsunami. <laughs> Let me try and think of a better one. Yeah. Ooh, Chthonian. Okay. Now, what should I do next? Oxygen's actually really strong. With 1.8k. So I'll summon it out. We'll use it to pop his uh, face down. Ultimate baseball kit. Wow, and then I'll just use Water Dragon to destroy the Custodian. There we go. His effect triggers, so I get the damage as well. But things are going really well. We'll probably end this duel pretty soon. Oh, Lightning Vortex! But I don't think I really want to use that. I'll just summon Kavazals. Okay, Kavazal, uh, let's use Kavazals to pop his face down. 
Oh man, it's strong enough. It's a command knight. So I have to destroy it with water dragon instead. Okay, and direct attack with oxygen. Oxygen! Whirlwind! End my turn. He's just left with 1.6k now. Soul charge? Okay, what's he gonna do? A tribute for one? Oh, he's just he was just trying to get one monster. Oh, and now he set up some intense defense. But that's not gonna be enough, unfortunately. Well, I'm just gonna activate my a, a pot of greed first just to see what I draw into. Okay. We can activate Lightning Vortex now. Discarding Fossil Dick in order to destroy his Infernal Incinerator. And now, battle! I direct attack with Water Dragon! Aqua Deluge! Oh man, Twin Point Guard! No, I wanted that to be the end! Oh man, he ruined my perfect finisher. It can't be destroyed, right? Yeah. I know Pinpoint Guard quite well because I used it a lot during the Zale era in my Go 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 Ga 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 Onomatopic deck. I think we have time for one more duel. Okay, okay, okay. How are we gonna settle this, man? I want to finish the fight with Water Dragon, man, but it looks like I might not get the chance, but it's alright. I'm not... After all the, the screw-ups I had at the end of... Ah, what's going on? Why can't I... Oh, right! Oh, man, I forgot about Command Knight's effect, so now I'm locked into this position where I literally actually have to end my turn. Okay, gotta take note of that. Monsters can't target Command Knight as long as he is others. Turn change. Carbonet. Battle phase. I'll just use Aqua Deluge to finish off the Command Knight. And now I direct attack with Oxygen. Oxygen Tornado! And there we go. Chess is defeated. Let's quickly move on to one more duel. Doomsday duel. Formula for success. Uh, reverse Chess Princeton decks. Infernal Incinerator, Catonian Alliance, and Mage Power. So now moving on to Doomsday duel. Who are we fighting against here? Well, I'm just going to use my story deck. Oh, we are starting off with a, We have a duel against Night Trout so early on already. He's going to play Red Eyes Darkness, right? I have a feeling this duel might take a while. Hey, Blade Edge! So cool to see like all the... We're slowly gaining like more and more new elemental heroes, just increasing the strength of the deck. He's quickly getting two red eyes into his hand already. I've got emergency call. Oh man, red eyes black chick. He'll definitely tribute it for red eyes. Yep. And pretty cool animation on the opponent's side of the field. Really, I really like how they like pay this homage to red eyes through Night Shroud in the GX GX era. Oh, do one four K. Another one? Wow, and now we know his last card is just another Red Eyes. And his hand is basically empty. Terraforming. Now that is interesting. What can I call out? Okay, so our fusion options are Thunder Giant, Tempest, Blaster, Mudball Man, and Flame Wing Man. It would be cool to bring out Tempest, but then we'll need... Uh, we still need... Oh, we still lack a lot of cards for that. I'm gonna activate Terraforming first. And now we'll get Skyscraper out. Okay. And I guess I might as well Emergency Call into... I think my best bet currently is Sparkman. That is what I'm gonna do. And I do not want to banish my materials with Fusion Gate, so I'm just going to activate the normal polarization. We're going to get our good old friend, uh... Thunder Giant back out. But hold on, I just realized there's a flaw of this plan. Thunder Giant is 2.4k as well, so I can't use its effect, right? I don't think so. 
You can discard one card on the field with original attack less. Yeah, I can't! Oh man, I screwed up a little. Okay, okay. I'll end my turn. But it's not like his red eyes can do anything. Hmm. So, kind of, kind of messed up on that play. We're kind of in a stalemate now. I will just keep ending my turn. Actually, all I need is another Sparkman and I'll be able to pop Red Eyes with, uh, with my Skyscraper. Call of the Haunted? He's gonna get a second one? Is he? Yep, definitely. Oh, he's got two Red Eyes. That means he can afford to make the play by sacrificing one of his Red Eyes so he can direct attack me. Oh man, is he gonna do that? I don't think he would do that though. Yeah, he's not. Draw? Evian. Not what I need just yet. Okay, I'm just gonna go into my battle phase and pop his face down. Yeah, I really should have gone for Wild Heart and fused a Wild Heart with Blade, Blade Itch to get Wild Itch. Is that his name? Wild Itch, right? Well, you guys know which one. I'll just end my turn here. Yeah, shouldn't have fused out Thunder Giant. Is he really going for it? Oh, cause it's just enough! Oh man! Whoops, sorry about that guys. Messed up pretty big time. I've kind of grasped the trick already of how to win this duel. No going Thunder Giant. Oh man, but now, now it's like totally encouraging me to go into Thunder Giant. Yeah, I think I'm just going to end my turn and just see how he starts. Uh, I believe he's probably still going to manage to get out his red eyes on the- Oh, no he's not! Mirage Dragon. That's not too bad. Because he doesn't have any of the chicks in his hand. Ooh, nice! Negate attack! I'll just keep this here, and I think it is now safe for me to go into a Thunder Giant. <laughs> no choice here. Sparkman and Clayman. Fusion Summon! I'll put Thunder Giant in the left extra monster zone. Now the question is, do I pop Mirage Dragon with my effect? I actually think I'm not going to. I'll just attack first. Looks like he doesn't have a face down to counter that. End my turn. Okay. Mm, things look like they are going pretty well. Looks like he had quite a bad starting hand. Ooh, Rottweiler! And a polymerization in my grave. Yeah, I think I might as well just set it. I didn't expect Rottweiler to come into my deck so early on. Troop Dragon. Dang. Accumulating the tributes, I see. Guess I'll end my turn. Oh, actually... Yeah, I think I'll just go for it. Discard Mirage of Nightmare. I don't see myself using that card at this point. Troop of Drag Troop Dragon defeated and now his field is empty again. Oof, has he run out of monsters to place down? Yes! <laughs> Mirror Force as well. I think I might as well just flip Rottweiler face up. Because I want it to get destroyed. Then I'll attack with both Rottweiler. Oh, he's negating. And that's the end of my turn, I guess. Yes, my energy levels are kind of running low in this final duel for the day right now. Because I've been recording for so long already. Another Mirror Force. Rottweiler, go! And Thunder Giant will direct attack as well. 
end my turn. He's placing a face down. Hmm. I really want another monster on the field. But these aren't very good options. Let me take a look at what I've destroyed. Troop Dragon and Mirage Dragon. Well, I guess I might as well just try. Yep, it's a Troop Dragon. And then I'll pop it with Thunder Giant, I guess. And then Rottweiler will attack. Oh, maybe I should have taken a look at his deck. But I don't think it's that important at this point. I did see a Spear Dragon though. That would be a bit annoying to deal with. But I have very strong traps set up in my back row. So I'm not too worried about what plays he'll make. Another phase down. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be quite an unexciting duel. We're just going to slowly flow through until we win. And if all goes well, this should be enough. Yup. I attack with Rottweiler directly, Lupin Bite. And finishing off with a direct attack from Thunder Giant, Electro Fist! Okay. That's a lot of Electro Fist in one, for one day. And it looks like we won this duel, and our next campaign duel is Field of Screams. Wait, what duel is that? We got Red Eyes Darkness, Troop Dragon, Summoner's Art, and a Challenge Deck, Unskilled Beast. Isn't she the vampire, if I'm not wrong? Yeah, I think she's the vampire woman that was like in love with Bastion or something. No, no, the one who was in love with Bastion was the Amazonist woman. This is the vampire woman, right? Anyway, that'll be all for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And subscribe for more Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Shh. Share it, declare it, tell me Can you see? I drift in darkness in search of memories I